list. I'm Shayla Derby announcement makers. To start today's announcements, we're going to be doing the book. Please stay with me. Have your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your side. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And today I have a joke. It's, why did the frog take the bus to work? His car got towed away. <laughs> and now I'm going to pass it on to Mr. Hinton. Have a great day. Bye. Good morning, Titan family. Mr. Hinton here with your Wednesday installment of Titan Connect. Just wanted to remind you that today and tomorrow we'll be having our iReady diagnostic test. So take your time and do your very best as you take your test. Also, we'll be having an adjusted schedule today and tomorrow with the testing. So make sure you stay tuned with your teachers so you know when, when you need to be in what classes. Now, with no further ado, we're gonna jump into our Wednesday Words of Wisdom for February 10th, 2021. Today is National Have a Brownie Day. Get ready for it. Mm. Yep. February 10th is National Have a Brownie Day. Brownies were created all the way back in the 19th century here in the United States. And they're a cross between cookies and cake. And they're very popular and oh, so yummy. Mm. Take some time today to make your own or buy some brownies and treat yourself and the whole family to this chocolatey dessert. Now for you teddy bear lovers and stuffed animal lovers out there, today is Teddy Day. Teddy Day is the fourth day of Valentine's week, which we're in the middle of right now. This week leads up to and culminates with Valentine's Day, which is this Sunday. On this day, couples give each other teddy bears as a symbol of their love. Although Teddy Day is geared toward couples, anyone can participate. Friends can exchange teddy bears with each other. Teddy bears can be given to children. Celebrate today by giving your significant other a teddy bear. You can pick one up in a nearby store. You can make one at Build-A-Bear. Or if you're feeling ambitious and really want to show your love, you can sew and make your very own. So just remember, couples can give bears. You can give bears to your friends, other children, or relatives. Everybody enjoys a bear they can hug and love. Also, it's Umbrella Day. Everybody is familiar with the sight of an umbrella. They're present whether you live in the hottest climate or the coldest. They're there to keep the rain off on a blustery day, or they're there to protect you from sunburn on a warm and sunny day. There's simply no day that isn't perfect for an umbrella. So, of course, there's a holiday to honor this very useful and ever fashionable essential piece of travel gear. After all, this is an invention that's worth celebrating. When this rain starts to pour, an umbrella keeps us from getting wet and it keeps our hair in an acceptable position. Mm. It's a simple invention, but we've relied on it from time to time and many times. So we certainly have a lot to be thankful for when it comes to this clever invention in either sunny or rainy conditions. Now our quote of the week is in honor of Teddy Day. And our quote, is a bear knows all your secrets and keeps them. So just think about this. A good teddy bear is comforting and always keeps your secrets. A good friend should be the same way. So choose your friends wisely and avoid the drama. As we close for today, Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make great choices and have an awesome day. The option is yours. Good morning, Titans. My name is Logan Hubman, and I am from Student Council. So today for our Black History Month moments, we're going to be talking about Colin Powell. Colin Powell was born on April 5th, 1937. Some facts we have on Colin Powell are that right out of high school, he joined the Army. He served in Vietnam from 1962 to 1963. Colin Powell studied at George Washington University, and he took his first job at the White House in 1972. Some achievements we have for Colin Powell is he is the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff from 1989 to 1993. He is the Secretary of State from 2001 to 2005. 
and then April of 1989, he became a four, four-star general in the Army. And did you know that he was the first African-American to hold these positions as Secretary of State and Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff? Thank you, Titans, for listening, and let's make today a good day, Titans. Take care.